Thank you. Sister Big up that beautiful song. Oh, man, my. Say to y'all, I gotta go back. We went to a concert in Burlington after the service, the funeral. But that was a difficult thing. I was beat, let go to the rest of my wife. We're going to a concert. I said, you, you go by yourself, I don't want to go. But I ended up going, and I tell you, I'm glad I went. It was really, really beautiful. It was about six churches that came together, and some of them Charlotte, not Charlotte, some of them went to some Greensboro, Burlington, Bedford, and it was just a, I mean, they practiced from October to concert, and it was one of the best. They had so much. Young people did a fantastic job, but they practiced. They told us a long time to practice to make perfect. Remember that? Amen. But they were they were fantastic. They had an older musician and uh, his son played drums and they had a saxophone player there. And he played used to uh, play an anti-marching band. And we had some church. First Baptist Church of Medford. I mean, they really everything done in excellence. It was really, you know, it made you feel good when you go a place where people love what they do. People driving once a week, 50, 60, 70 miles for being at rehearsal, and you can tell them they were they were fantastic. And I enjoy myself so much. Book of Acts, the eighth chapter. Give an honor to the Spirit of Christ, an honor to my wife. That was Simpson and Robinson, a chairman, Nicky Turner, his wife, all the missionary saints of the Most High God. We meet you with Jesus' praise. It's like a God praise. Give him praise. You know, it's been a lot of funerals. It's been a lot of funeral sites. And you ought to be thankful that you're still here. I've been to probably eight, seven, eight, nine funerals already. And we got Mother Carlos just uh, on Saturday. And we went to, I think, my brother's funeral. Was that the last one? Mm -hmm. So I've been going to a lot of funerals. And that's why you ought to thank God you're still alive, but it could be you. Amen. Amen. But God has failed us. So we eat on the same things. My cousin had just took 60 and went to Tim on Monday, prayed with him on Monday, and Sunday he was gone. Amen. So anytime you come in this church, you should give God a thank you. Lord, thank you. You ain't invited to roll you in, but you're able to get up and give God praise. Thank you, Jesus. Then I gotta thank you inside you. I thank you for every day. Every day. Look today to every day. Every day man had a good good day, but I thank God for that day. Hallelujah. My has makes and pain, but thank you, Lord. Good be the other way, but thank you, Lord. Some people got aches and pain, can't feel it, they lose legs and arms. Don't know that it's dead, green, and right off. But God has spared you good health and good mind. You ought to give God a praise. Your family is certified for you. Your children are all right. You live in a nice home and you drive a nice car. You got food and clothes to wear. Somebody slept on the bridge last night. Somebody slept on the car. You take it for granted, but a lot of people don't have what you have, saints. A lot of people don't have what you have. A lot of people didn't, didn't have a chance to sleep. I see people sleep on the bridge, on the car door. Right here in North Carolina. You're right downtown. A lot of folks sleeping right on the bridge. And you got a nice bed. A nice warm house. We don't have nothing to complain about, saints. <clears throat> Acts 8, 
verse 1, and Saul was consenting unto his death, and that and at the time there was a great persecution against the church, which was at Jerusalem. And they were all scattered abroad throughout the region of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. And devout men carried Stephen to his burial and made great lamentation over him. And Saul, he made havoc of the church, entered into every house and hauling men and women, committing them to prison. Therefore, they that were scattered abroad went everywhere preaching the word. Don't stop preaching. Amen. Even trouble come, don't stop preaching. All that they had been through, they kept preaching the word. And Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. Somebody say, preach Christ unto them. And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. And Philip was a deacon. And a deacon in a, in a, in a Catholic church, man, he's a he's a preacher, he's a, but he doesn't have a wife. He has a wife, so he can't be a priest. He was a preacher. He was a deacon like we think of deacon. He was a preacher, but he had a wife, so he couldn't be a priest. Same qualification. For the unclean spirit cried with loud voice, come came out of many that were possessed with them, and many took with palsy, and that were lame were healed. They were healed by this preaching of the word. Yeah. Nobody had to throw them down, and nobody had to pull over them, but they were just, uh, just by the preaching of the word. See, a lot of times we sit and don't pay attention to the word. But in preaching, the word is sending out a message to your spirit man, and that spirit man can be healed. Yeah. And the physical man. But you got to be attentive to the word. They was healed by just the preaching of the word. And there were great joy in the city. But there were a certain man named Simon, which before time in the same city of sorcery and his wits, the people of Smyrna, given out that himself was some great one. See, that's a really good thing. You got so many people thinking they're so great and they're a great one. Nothing happened unless I come. Nothing happened unless I show up. They was using witchcraft. And to mess people up, they think they were delivered by God, but they were been delivered by demons. They were been delivered by demons, bewitched the people of Smyrna, giving out that himself was some great one, to whom they all gave heed from the least to the greatest, saying, This is the great power of God. So the devil will mess you up. You think it's God, but it's a spirit of witchcraft, divination, the enemy. Folks are using that stuff now. That same spirit was in the Bible days are operating today. People are being tricked by Satan to believe it's God. To whom they gave he from the least to the great saying, This man is a great power of God. And to him they were regarded because that of a long time he had bewitched them with sorcery. See, they had gotten so familiar with that spirit of the Antichrist or the devil, they thought it was gone. They could tell the difference from the real thing and the thing that's unreal. We're going to drop down to verse 15. 
Verse 15, same chapter. Who then were come down praying for them that they might receive the Holy Ghost. They're going back. See, these people didn't have the Holy Ghost, so they didn't know the difference. See, the Holy Ghost will reveal all things unto you. The Holy Ghost will tell you when it's real or when it's not real. But if you don't have the Holy Ghost, you don't have nothing to protect you from. The Holy Ghost is there to guide and lead you to all truth. Without the Holy Ghost, you have no power over the devil. You have no power. That's why you, you in the book of Acts 2, they be filled of the Holy Ghost. You have to be filled even when, the, when, when, when people on the rooftop prayed and the knees was a, a tight band. He had no knowledge of the Holy Ghost. But when he received the Holy Ghost, God empowered him to do what he needed to do. Say that the Holy Ghost, the enemy can trick in of us. So these men were being tricked. These folk were being tricked. Great men, educated men, powerful men. But they didn't know any different because they had got to the point they had received the power of the Holy Ghost. I thank God for the Holy Ghost, saints of God. My, my people say, well, I know the Holy Ghost will cease. The Holy Ghost cannot cease till the saints of God be delivered out of here. Talk like cease. But the Holy Ghost is not going anywhere until you leave this world. So when the saints is raptured out of the world, that's when the Holy Ghost is going to leave. But he said, uh, he will lead to God to you. The Holy Ghost can't go anywhere until his time is fulfilled. Thank God for the Holy Ghost saints. If you may be being tricked and, and fooled by the devil, you need to check your Holy Ghost life out. And ask God, feel me full of the Holy Ghost. Because some folk got so much of and you think it's real, and you're going to be using the, the spirit of the devil to fool you, to trick you, and cause you to do stuff unseemly because they say, I'm some great one. You're supposed to do this for me. And, and people pray and ask and give it to these men, and they're nothing but sorcerer, and they use a witchcraft to fool folks. One lady I, I, I brought a notice in. She was on Facebook laying like she was dead. And she said, I'm not dying. And they, y'all can talk to them about say that. And they said that the more money you put on her, she began to ride. And folks coming by dropping, I'm serious. And it was showing when people dropping money on her. And, 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 and she's playing with God. But you tell the spirit of the devil, they show the devil. So nobody in their right mind will lay there and pretend like they're dead in the house of God. Can somebody give God a pray? Let me tell you something, you play those games, and one day you got to pay to the devil. Because the devil will come <clears throat> to look. You'll use my power. There's time for you to come on with me. And you will be led straight to the lake of fire because you're following the wrong spirit. Let me tell you something. I was trying to spirit by the spirit to see it be of God. How can you know the spirit if it be of God if you don't have the Holy Spirit? Try to give God a prayer. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. I thank God for that time in Jesus' name. I thank God in fear. Don't let the Lord fool. Of God. My sister was a, she was not of our faith. She was doing witness. She didn't believe in the Holy Spirit. She didn't believe in God. She didn't believe in all that stuff. But before she died, I had to preach her funeral. I had to go to the hospital to let them know that it is of God. It is a Jehovah Witness. It is a Jehovah God. But all that, but you gonna stick to the Bible. I don't hear we all Jehovah Witnesses. Because Jehovah is God. That's not what we're all witnesses, but don't get twisted on the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is real. You gotta have it. The Bible says you cannot rise until you receive it. And says, I'm not gonna take no chance on what a man said or anybody else. I'm gonna stick to the word of God. And God said, I believe it. I'm gonna read it for myself. And God said you must have the power of the Holy Ghost. You can lay that and play all you want. Expect the devil to treat you right. But the devil will use you and he'll mess you up. And he's already beat to hell. And he's trying to get as many as he can. He's going to hell with him. Just want to say amen. You got the best thing going, saints. You got the best thing. People are trying to trick folks and try to make them they have somebody great. Hallelujah. But, but it, it, it was a sorceress. 
that's doing this great thing. He will still use the little scrap the leg. And he used it in the house of God to trick folks. Ain't but one Savior. Ain't but one come from the grave. Nobody has risen from the grave. But there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city was used sorcery and to bewitch the people of Samaria, give out that him, give out that he, that himself was one great one. See, folks will try anything to get money. I mean, they will do anything. But you should have some limitation that you won't pass. It's certain thing you should not, you just won't do. But some people for a dollar, they'll do anything. This man will do anything for money. But in uh, Acts 5 and 36 says, For before these days rose, that was boasted himself to be somebody to whom a number of men, about 400, joined themselves who was slain, and all as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to naught. You see, if you follow the wrong folks, you would go down with them. Everybody that was with him died. You better choose who you want to be with. Because folk will lead you to the pits of hell just for money. Nobody can pay. You can't pay for your deliverance. You can't pay for your healing. You can't pay for somebody to pray over you. If you bring a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars or drink this water or wear this piece of cloth, you will not get this and other. You gotta get yourself together and say, Lord, I believe you. Ain't no power in no cloth. Ain't no power in no water. People sprinkling pouring water. Ain't no power in that foolishness. That's the stuff Paul used one time, and you never see that anymore. People selling handkerchiefs and selling water. Foolishness. God's going to get those people that that's fooling people that be wicks of people get money. If you send me some money, you will get a thousand dollars. Or you get people get how much money they receive. All they got a foolishness. The devil is a lie. God is truth. He yeah. said, let every man be a liar. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, you better get it. And stop letting these, these demons fool you. To whom they also gave you. From the least to the greatest, saying, This is a great power of God. I heard some folks say, I know that's the man of God. I know that's the woman of God. And soon as they get out of the church, they do an all kind of mess. Your life will tell who you are. Your life will show up to him that has been regarded because of a long time he had been, been had been. Bewitch him with sorcery. But when they believe Philip preaching, see, the true God of man is coming. He's coming, he's going to show up. But when Philip came, glory to God. When the righteous come around, the devil got to get back. When the light come around, darkness has to flee. God always, I don't have any demons out there trying to trick you. But God is in somebody your way to feel, to preach to you the truth and tell you what you need to do. And it's not going to be a price. It's not going to be a charm. It's going to be from the heart. A true man of God. It's not I'm trying to get a dollar. Because God supplies all his needs. I don't work for preach for money. I don't preach for popularity. I preach for I love Jesus. And Jesus gave me a word. I want to share the word. Why? Because he didn't give me nothing but the Holy Ghost. And that's all I need. I don't need a check. I don't need a big house, a big car. I got Jesus. And that's enough. If God bless me, that's okay. If he don't, that's okay. Because whatever God is, there's peace and joy and happiness. So he's forget about how you, oh, he's such a great woman. She's, and she spoke into my life. Yeah, the devil can speak in your life and cause you to follow that message if he wants to. People got all kinds of words to give you. They use psychic. They try to talk to you and, and, and take information from you. And you do the same information. And you say, well, they know my life. They don't know about your life. And that's a devil exposure. 
The devil had clothes, the devil talks, the devil had power to food from people who the, the devil ain't got no yes he does. How do you think that these folks will be, be rich in the Bible here? That folks had power. Came straight from Lucifer. But the friend, they believe Peter. Preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God. First, you gotta believe. They believe Peter. All they can stop you is your unbelief. The Bible says, when they believe Philip preaching the thing concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized both men and women. Yet, when they believed Philip, they were baptized both men and women. People that have put the, a baptism out of the church, they don't even baptize them anymore. All this demonic stuff that's crept in over all these 2,000 years of the church, and all of a sudden, the last day, baptism don't mean anything. All these years, thousand years of biblical baptism, and you got these smarties now that don't believe in baptism, don't have, uh, don't have no kind of baptism, just accept the people in. How can you be the glory except you die? You got to die spiritually, you got to be born again. Adam came, he died. Noah came, eight souls, they died. The third man came, Jesus Christ. He rose from the grave. Somebody give God a praise. All three, all the two, who still there when Jesus come out of the grave. Says that no power can hold me down. No power, no grave, no stone. He rose away the stone. He walked the streets of Jerusalem. He walked up and said, here I am. What do you eat them, Lord? We got some fish. And, and more fish and we got some bread. Jesus said, give me a piece of fish. Give me a bread. Because spirit don't need to eat. He let the Lord on an eye. I'm not a spirit. But when the preacher came, they believed. And they were baptized, men and women. Then Simon himself believed also. And when he was baptized, he continued with Philip and wondered, wondered, behold, the miracle and the sign which was done. Now, when the apostles which were in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of God, many sent unto him Peter and John. See, they heard about these ungodly folks getting saved. Uncircumcised, not Jews getting saved. That means God can save anybody. It's not your pedigree, it's not who you are, but it's God that will save anybody that wants to be saved. I don't care if your mother was a prostitute, your dad was a drunk, he was a pimp, a hustle, whatever. If you was God save you, you were the savior if you want to be saved. He had no respect for person. Who when they were to come down pray for him for them that they might receive the Holy Ghost. For as yet he had fallen upon none of them, only they were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. See, then they handled on them and they received the Holy Ghost. And when Simon saw that through laying on the of the apostles, Hand, the Holy Ghost was given. He offered them money. See, money, see, money, money, money. See, this man went about, he ain't got to the point to get baptized. That's right. Follow the man of God. So he could try to learn what he was doing. Amen. And then he wanted to buy this gift. Mm -hmm. But God ain't for sale, saints. Right. You can't buy your way to heaven. Jesus. You can't pay your way for deliverance. It takes the Holy Ghost to deliver you. Your money perishes. Yeah. Yeah. Say, give me also the power, this power, that on whose I lay, I lay hands, he may receive the Holy Ghost. But Peter said to him, Thy money perish with thee, because thou hast thought that the gift of God 
made his purchase with money. Don't fool yourself, saints. You got to have the Holy Ghost. It's got to be operating in your life. Thou has neither part nor lot in this matter, but thy heart is not right in the sight of God. Repent, therefore, for this thy weakness, and pray God if perhaps the thought of thine heart may be forgiven thee. For I perceive that thou art in the gall of bitterness and the bonds of iniquity. Then answered Simon and said, Pray ye to the Lord for me, that none of these things which you have spoken come upon me. And they, when they had testified and preached the word of God, preached the word of the Lord, returned to Jerusalem and preached the gospel to many villages of the Samaritan. Say you can't play with God. You can't play with it. People running around trying to get a dollar. Can this, that. If God can't supply my needs, he ain't God. I'm running around trying to make a buck. Trying to do this, trying to do that. If you trust God, He'll give you everything you need. He said, your money perish. Saints, don't chase a dollar. The Bible says your blessing will overtake you. If you live holy, if you live right, your, 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 bless, your blessings will overtake you. See, the more jobs you work, the more you run to take a dollar, the less you have. And then all the money you make at the end of the year, you pay the taxes. All the old time you work, you be angry because you say, I work 80 hours, but see, I got to work more than 40 hours, about the same money. Say, so don't run a dollar. Run out to God. Run out to him. Seek him. He's got everything you need. He got everything, saints. If you turn your life over to him, and to Lord, you know my heart. You know what I need, Lord. I need to be saved. My mother was a, in the Christian church. They baptized the fathers of the Holy Ghost. But I choose to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And she finally was baptized in his name. Yeah. You got to follow what the word say. Yeah. She said, I've been in this way 50 years, I'm not going to change. But in one cold January, she was baptized in Jesus' name. You can't follow something that is not right, even if it's mother or father. It's got to be according to the word of God. So I can just repeat that God prays. Because the devil will trick you and fool you to make you think that you're all right or you're all wrong. If you die right now, what would you spend eternity? Where would you spend eternity? Where would you spend eternity? And he rose and went and beheld a man from Ethiopia, a unit of the great authority of the Candace, queen of Ethiopia, who had charged all her treasure and it came to Jerusalem to worship and was returning and sitting in his chair read he saw the prophet beside the prophet then the spirit said to Philip go near and join thyself to this chair 
And Philip ran his, to him and heard him reading the book of Isaiah and said, Understand thou what thou readest. And he said, How can I except a man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. The place of the scripture which he was reading, he read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, and like a lamb dumb before his shepherd. So open not his mouth. In his ability, his judgment was taken away, and who, sh and who sh shall declare this, his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. And the young answered Philip and said, I pray thee, for whom speaketh the prophet this of himself or some other man? Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him Jesus. And as they went on their way, they came to a certain water. And the young said, See here is water. What do you hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believe with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And he commanded the church to stand still. And they went down both into the water, both Philip and Jonah. And he baptized him. And when they came, were come up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught away Philip, that the eunuch saw him no more, and he went on his way to rejoice. See, he says, he wants all of us to be baptized. And this was Ethiopia, which is in Africa. He was in Africa. And he was down in Jerusalem worshiping. And like we thought all the Jews was at Jerusalem worshiping. But his was Africa. Down in worship. Coming back. He must have heard something. He must ask God to save him. I don't know. God doesn't say. But all of a sudden Philip shows up. And he preached to him. He was reading the book. But how do you get inside the Old Testament and Jesus in the same thing? That was a miracle there. Because he was reading the Old Testament. <laughs> when he explained to him in the Old Testament, he was talking about Jesus. And he was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. But you got to be a believer. You got to believe God's word. If you don't have the Holy Ghost today, He'll fill you right now. Don't die without the Holy Ghost, because He's in that day to be called us from the grave, or will be changed in a moment of the twinkling of an eye. The Bible says, "Then Christ will rise first. The ones that have been." Say they're going to get up from the grave. And the ones that's here will be changed. Jesus not coming back on earth. He's going to be mid air. They're going to meet him in mid air. And we're going to rise. And be caught up to be with the Lord forever. Let us sing. If you don't have it, don't listen to people talking and saying, you don't need this, you don't need that. But what does the word say? What does the Bible say about this thing? Who, you, who report will you believe? The preacher's coming down. And you're not sure about your walk. He said, Lord, I want to make sure I got the Holy Ghost. I want to make sure I have it. I don't want to take no chances on my life. Will you make sure today? Forget about your family 
and how they were doing this and that and the other. What does the Bible say? What do you have to say about it? And I was able to lead my mother to baptism in Jesus' name. If you want to be saved today, I don't want you to put your denomination in town. We're not talking about denomination. We're talking about baptizing in the name of Jesus Christ. In his name. I'm not talking sprinkling or whatever. I'm not going to be immersed in the water. In his name. You understand, there's water what you need me to be baptized. And he was baptized by Philip in that wall. Right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, if we have one, two, three, or what, how many that's not filled with the Holy Ghost, they want to make sure that they have it. Right now, speak to their heart, speak to that spirit man. Let them know they need the power of the Holy Ghost. If they've not been baptized in the rain, Lord, I'll let them go according to Acts 2 3 to be buried in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Anoint their lips, anoint their tongues, anoint their right now. Touch their minds. So they say, Well, thus I did be saved. In Jesus' name. Amen. This is your opportunity. If you want to make sure you're filled, the preachers are ready to pray for you. Pride coming before the fall. Don't be proud. If you don't have it, all you want to make sure you got it, come on up. Just come on. They're waiting. Whatever you be, they're here. We're well, waiting on you. You know you don't have it. You know you don't have it. Nobody. Nobody, that's nobody's business. You trying to make it happen. And you know who you are right now. And you know you need it. But you don't want to stop doing what you're doing. But you're going to stop one day. You're going to stop one day. So why not stop today? Give God. Let everybody close their eyes. Just give your heart as we pray. You got saints, you got you got family members not saved. And you know they're not saved. But if you want to come, the preachers are here to pray for that family member. That God may touch their body. It might change their mind about salvation. In the name of You know the truth. You know the truth. Don't cause them to not to go to heaven because you won't stand in part of the Lord.
Lift those hands, give God a thank you, praise. Open your mind. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a great week. This is a great month. Come on, come on. Jesus. In Jesus. This is only a wonderful house of Jesus. God, God bless saints. We're more than enough. Lord, for the old way to be made. We are speaking. We are. I shall not be not. You the divine power. We speak with the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost says, you can have what you want. You can have what you need. Hold your mind to I want to heal you. I want my deliverance. I want my heaven saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to do that. I want to live better. Hallelujah. Jesus. I want to live
you can go wrong with it, you blur. Somebody don't believe, right? But if you didn't believe, right? The Bible said they had to believe. And after believe, they would be set free. They got to deliver the word, they had to believe. Still here because of prayer. Yeah. She did better because of prayer. Yeah. He's still here with the saints. Yes, he would be God if he would heal somebody else would heal you. Yeah. He would be God. Yeah. But I believe you right now. Yeah. Sister, so you could come and get this all in the arms of your mother. I want you to jump, I want you to shout when you get here. Come, pick me, it doesn't hurt. Pick me, it doesn't hurt. Pick me, it doesn't hurt. If you want God to do something, you gotta pray. Go ahead, go ahead. 
Tell them, I feel something happening over that corner. I feel something happening in that corner. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel it all. I feel my, my knees kicked out. I feel something happening to your knees. It's here. It's here. It's here. The Holy Ghost shows up. The Holy Ghost is here right now. These are the strength of your body. Every limb are strengthening your knees, your arms, your back. He will strengthen you. Somebody, my spirit is heavy. 
Sister Shirley, come on up. I don't like to call you out, but Sister Shirley, Sister Shirley, Sister Shirley, come on. These headaches. God, the headaches. We minds that spirit in the name of Jesus. God, speak your message. 